Hi, welcome to this video today, uh, which is all about simple profitable forex trading strategies that work. And we'll look at one of the simplest of all, trading round numbers. By round number, I mean the really big levels in the market, like 114 USD JPY, 115 Euro USD. Now, in terms of round numbers, um, a little bit of practice, you can trade them and make consistent profits over the longer term. I know traders who do this, that's all they do, they make a lot of money. Even if you're not going to use a round number trading strategy, you need to know how the order flow operates around these big levels and how big institutions trade them. Because most beginners just simply don't understand how big institutions operate, okay? They've got a lot of order flow. A lot of the big institutions are out to get retail traders. A lot of beginners don't understand this in terms of they'll place an order, entry order or stop on a round number. That's a fatal error. Also, placing an order too close to a round number is a fatal error, like you know, five pips either side. You'll understand why as we go through the video. Now, you can actually um, trade like institutions do around round numbers and make a lot of money, okay? Now, what you need to do is understand how they operate. So I just wanna go through um, a little summary of a guy who made, I think it was about $250 million trading round numbers. And his strategy, okay, was designed to get retail traders. And just to explain a little bit about the uh, turbulence around round numbers, and what you need to you know, avoid and how you can trade them for profit. I'm just gonna do a little short summary on a storyboard. And when you look at his strategy, he had a very fast computer system, okay? Today's computer systems are way faster. So just to give you an idea of what goes on in terms of turbulence round numbers, his system will give you a good idea. Then we're gonna come back, summarize, more about round numbers, how you can trade off them or key off them uh, in terms of making money from your trading signals. I'm also gonna give you some examples from our member center where we have a big focus on round numbers, okay? And in terms of the examples I'm gonna give, it's where the round number was the most important part of us transacting the trading signal. But first of all, let me just give you a little review of the strategy of Vic Niederhoff made a lot of money using the strategy, okay? Then we'll be back to discuss in more detail. Right, welcome back off that short summary there of our Niederhofer's system. Now, in terms of the strategy, it worked really well. He made a good few hundred million dollars out of it. Very simple, very effective, um, good odds over the long term. He did obviously have his edge, which was a, a fast computer. Now, today, computers are way faster. There's more system traders around, and they do bigger volume. They have a big influence on price. I'll talk about them in a moment, what I want to do, just summarize some basics about trading round numbers. I'm just gonna give you some simple examples of, um, uh, yeah, where the round number is really important to us in trading setups we did recently uh, in YouTube 
videos or our members center now in terms of trading round numbers first point it's a static price level it's constant okay i've always found you know straight support and resistance lines more effective than diagonals i've only ever really used diagonals in short time frames just to show the velocity of the trend for me in long time frames they're useless i mean yeah, over two years the price is so different things have changed um no <laughs> i wouldn't do it okay uh, and most professional traders don't either now in terms of um uh round numbers they focus you on the right of the chart okay so you're looking at the price right now you're probably only looking left to see a previous test of a big round number all right um and i think too many traders today i've mentioned this frequently they do all that twist and turn uh, of the chart what it did beforehand projecting where it might go next so it's not really a good idea to do that because you can't predict where price is going to go next you want to be focused on the price in front of you and basically the here and now okay um because that's what institutions are going to do now in terms of uh, round numbers heavier volume around them uh, hedgers will always hedge off round numbers banks will be looking at them to trade them so will big speculative funds high frequency traders will be there and so will of course the retail trader so what's going to happen around around number well you're going to get turbulence okay um very often that's just natural as orders collide okay then the battle is settled so to speak but a lot of the turbulence around round numbers is created by funds big funds and uh, high frequency traders looking to get retail traders stops just like Niederhofer did okay Niederhofer didn't hunt them out he just waited okay and let probability work but I've done a video on HFTs um they really um create a lot of volatility in the short term they can't push prices in the long term they could push them in the short term that's because they can do so much volume so quickly so if you would take a, a slow hft probably do yeah 100 orders in the time you blink your eye fast one maybe 200 could be even more um so lightning quick and what they'll very often do is they'll push prices to a round number to take stops uh, they'll push it beyond as well to get the stops behind the round number because a lot of people put them like five or ten pips back or whatever they can't push the price long term they can do it short term and yeah it's a real problem for all retail traders because they're just using the you know, stop levels that are too tight now noise levels will vary depending on the pair or turbulence around the round number caused by funds okay if you've got euro usd for example there'll be a lot of system traders in that pair just due to the huge volume that's there you won't find many for example in a minor let's say like chf knock um so it varies but in the majors normally a good bit of um, noise around the round numbers and if you've got a story where let's say the, the majority of retail traders are bullish and they read a story in the media that you know if it breaks a certain level a certain round number it's definitely going to x level um that's what funds and hfts will be interested in because very often what they'll do is they'll try and push it through the level bring in the final wave of retail traders so there's too many long then sell against and try and push it back okay now in terms of yeah you know, what i'm saying here it's really just for interest you know, yeah do your own research i've read plenty of uh papers books and so forth there's definitely an influence by these funds okay but they don't need to worry you you just need to stay outside of the turbulence so for example if you're placing a stop this is a general rule of thumb don't place it within 30 pips uh, of a round number a stop or if you're going to come into a trade 30 pips the other side that's i normally use 30 but yeah sometimes it may be even more room that i will give it 
it just depends if there's no speculative interest really in it I might not give it 30 I might give it less okay just general rule of thumb, thumb sorry trading round numbers how do you do it um, you use just pure price action with a defining candle I like to use volatility and sentiment other traders like to study the fundamentals but generally yeah trading round numbers is just very very simple and I'll just give you some examples in a moment uh, it's simple but it's effective and I know many traders who actually make money consistently just trading round numbers um, yeah just a little bit of practice and you'll soon find it an effective way to trade right um, just give a few examples uh, for of different setups um, just to give you a basic idea of how we do round numbers like I said just yeah research yourself and you can make it an effective strategy as well right let's uh, go and look at the pretty examples. simple really um, come up quite strongly sideways move up strongly big blue candle We're wanting to test this level over here so a nice strong rise here blue touches sorry I'm get rid of that line blue touches just gets through the level comes back no more buyers uh, we want to sell we won't sell a blue candle we'll only come off dailies and in our video we did that through the two bodies did have a bit of a red tail above but half-hearted down she comes hoping she's going to do the same as that but extremely simple I've done that really just from yeah price action rejection at a round number uh, I did know the sentiment behind the pair but too, as a price action trade I'd do that even if I didn't know the sentiment where would you put your stop well I wouldn't put it um, I thought there was no orders left okay but you never know I went back behind that tail just in case of one more move up it's a very uh, simple trade but it's working well so far actually we're still in that one go to the next one or an example two let's have a look uh, this is one we did recently I think the video I did online was for um, what well, was it was for GBP uh, NZD GBP USD is from our member center but it's basically um, the same way of trading okay in terms of both pairs nice strong move down red immediately hits the round number and also support here from where we rallied what made us interested in this one really interested was um there was a big drop and then yeah the market just went dead uh no order flow at all no penetration of the round number so uh no one's trying to push through, even through the level so we just want to come off the round number don't use a trend line at all we just come in outside of what we consider to be turbulence which will be one 27.45 okay so give it a little bit of room she's blue she does come off the highs hold nice move up a few hundred pips okay that's mostly based again on how the round yeah price action performs into the round number now yeah different round numbers will be more important than others okay <laughs> you obviously have to filter them just trying to give a few simple examples um this one's a slightly different example. Okay, so this is a Euro USD. And what we did know on this one was we need the sentiment behind the chart. Okay, so you, when you come up here on these pokes through the level, one final poke and then a big drop, okay? That was when the ECB defined their interest rate policy and this then becomes a key hedging level and also a level where a lot of big institutions will want to sell as well you do come up big blue before the test red tries to get through finishes um down we actually decide to take that one 17.55 it's all a little poke through didn't think there were any more orders look what happens you do get another poke just above that tail where probably yeah HFT just push it to see or take out people who've come in on this and put their stop really tight ours was way back here okay 
blue doesn't touch level red does and then she's off to the downside okay so again pretty simple but this here is I think about 22 as a high so you see what I mean by you don't want to be too close to the round number we gave a bit of room back behind that tail let's just look at one last example uh, let's find it ah this one here um this one I didn't actually do but it, it's the one I would have done if I'd have actually seen it and it's basically a tight range with a round number at the top of the range there And basically, you know, I could draw that a bit lower, I suppose, but you get the general gist. What you've got is very tight candles. And this is the setup that um just like, because when the volatility, you can see it from these Bollinger Bands, really, really tight. You're going to move outside on high volatility, then you can look for a continuation. So she goes right through. I'd have given it plenty of room. Okay, um, finishes blue. If you have that after a tight range, our uh, probability is normally it will carry on and off she goes. Okay, that setup um, I've always liked. If ever I see tight price action, a round number, and a big breakout, I would go for it. I didn't actually go for that one, but it's a, a good example. So, just basically, there are four examples of just using round numbers. Um, for a trading signal when yeah we we were really focused on on the number basically very simple way of trading um it's just a basic introduction do some research and you put together a little strategy that uh, can be very simple but very effective thank you very much for watching me uh, as per usual take care and have a good day